Uh, where was it? I know I left it here. Materials, we can deposit this, that. I don't have any? Could have sworn I had some over there. Oh, the different. Yeah, I think we're good. I might have to make some mules later for storage increase. That's okay. Going back. Sorry if I just wasted like six minutes. But some of you guys like that for some reason. I don't know, so I just leave it there. Otherwise, I would just edit it out. So we were in Stormhaven. Don't remember what we were. Oh! Okay. We'll travel here then. But yeah, if you guys could hit that like button, that would be very appreciated. And I'm trying to make these videos a little bit longer than like the 15 minute ones. So hopefully you guys can enjoy it in a longer session. So let me know what you think. Longer videos, like, I don't know, 25 or so minutes. Or just split them up into two 15s. Either way, can do both. No big deal. Traveling merchant. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I think of trouble as an opportunity. Need more missions to do. Usually, if you just stay on the path, you can find them fairly easily. Like, we have a lot to discover over here, and then we probably miss some on the way. Am I going the right way? I think so. Yeah. Person at the top. Double missions. Fire! Help! I don't understand how this could be happening. We have no feud with the Midnight Union. Why would they suddenly come here and destroy the Abbey? It doesn't make any sense. Certainly! The bandits set everything on fire. The whole place is going up in smoke, and they're preventing us from putting the fires out! We weren't prepared to fight. If you'll help extinguish the flames, it would be a tremendous favor. Take this bucket, if you can get to the well and fill it. I don't know any other way. The larger fire may not be so easy. Just focus on the smaller fires first. I appreciate your assistance, but I would not want you to think of the spirit wardens as helpless. We are a capable lot, but to be attacked out of nowhere like this and by the Midnight Union, we were just caught off guard. Smugglers mostly, and gamblers, even petty thieves. But they've never been ruffians before now. They almost killed Brother Roland. I thought I knew them. Why attack the Abbey? Why? That is what we will find out shortly. So, we'll put out the fires. Okay. I do want to talk to that person, though. Ow. Oh. Nope, no knockback. wounded to tend to. Please, you have to help me. The Midnight Union bandits. I don't know why. I was no threat to them. They no, no. I am a healer. I can take care of myself. It's the others. So many of my fellow wardens are injured. I was trying to help them, but I... I can't really go on. 
Take these poultices. It should at least help them get on their feet so they can get to safety. Alright, double missions. Let's do this. Not it. You will always be welcome at the Abbey. Good to know. That was a chicken. Go, 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 go. May Azura bless you for all your days. Oh, they're right next to each other. How convenient. They all look the same, too. You will always be welcome at the Abbey. They all say the same thing, too. Of course, they will put a card there. down here. Fourth guy. May Azura bless you for all your days. Oh my god, there's so many things. Ugh. It's like I want to get that quest done, but there's a shrine, and then there's more quests. I want to go down there. Let's finish one thing at a time. That lady still there? Okay. I saw many of my fellow wardens make it to safety. Thank you. It's so ironic that we rely on a stranger's help after being attacked by those we considered friends. Thank you for asking. I'm feeling better already. It's certainly a relief to know that the other wardens are safe. I'll be able to get back to the Abbey soon. Perhaps I'll see you there. Okay, so... Wow. Uh, this thing, we lose a little bit of armor, but we get more health and Mundestone effects are better, so I think it's worth. Pretty sure that Cave of Dreams is all the way at the top. Yeah, I actually do see it. And... Hmm, can we... Outplayed. Next. There's another side quest. I'll pick it up after. Or actually, it depends how close it is. The guards, I'm gonna have to come back, so I might as well just get this done first. Fuck's sake. They no take fire damage. Okay, um, so we have to talk to her anyway. Might as well just start this one now. It was a trap. They knew we would come. It was a trap. They knew we were coming. The supernal dreamers. Master Muzgu said they were up to no good, and he was right. He and Brother Gerard are fighting them off. I, I ran to get help. Can you save them? If I must. All right, we're gonna have to run through it. Talk to that first lady again. No aggro. Very good.
I can see that many of the small fires have been extinguished. Thank you for volunteering to help us. Thanks for pitching in. I think we've saved enough crops to make it through the winter. But why did this happen? What's it all about? I hesitate to ask you for further assistance, but if you're willing, your help would certainly be appreciated. Our leader, Abbot Durak, left some time ago and hasn't returned. I fear he may be injured, or worse. Abbot Durak and a few others went to the Cave of Dreams on the North Ridge. Durak wanted to get something to help put out the fires. Brother Hakam went after them with a scroll of return to help get them back sooner. Now I worry about Hakam too. Both. But look for Brother Hakam first. With the scroll of return, you can get Abbot Durak back here sooner, where I hope he'll be able to put out that big fire. I should have gone after Abbot Durak myself, instead of sending Brother Hakam. Okay. Um... All the way at the top. Oh, I thought I could, oh god, help me. I thought I could outrun them. Oh fuck, he healed. Dab. That's the thing, see, if you're playing in first person and they do some kind of like AoE attack, you wouldn't be able to see it. So, eh. Well, we know one guy's dead. Yesing him down for the second guy. And just out of curiosity, if any of you play World of Warcraft, are you getting the new expansion? The Warlord of Draenor one? I've been told from everyone who played the beta, it was pretty good, I guess. Um, I actually never played a World of Warcraft game. I've watched it, though. down. Oh, fuck. I thought they wouldn't see me. I wonder how fast the respawn in this area is. Friend or foe, declare yourself. No one will harm the abbot. Not while I draw breath. And I have more terrible news. Those damned outlaws cast a sleeping spell on Abbot Jurok. I can't wake him. He came down here for this scroll of summoning, said it would stop the biggest fire. I just hope it's worth what it cost. As Jura prays his foresight, this will get us back to the abbey. Jurok said this scroll of summoning should be read near the largest fire in the field. Please, take it and use it there. I'll meet you at the Abbey when you're done. Fantastic. Now we have to walk all the way back. Should probably get out before they respawn. Where... Are you? Huh. I'm going down. Oh, okay. Whoa. Do work. Poor goat. Sheep. Thingy.
Oh, what the fuck? You dumb motherfucker. Why? It's always the maintenance that are the most useless in this game. In terms of damage and people actually helping you. It's just not happening. Oh. An Atronach. Simply amazing. Durak, you were right, my friend. You were right. He's still under a sleep spell. But I've learned something. The Midnight Union wanted us to panic. The attack, the fires, they were just a diversion. While we were distracted, they entered the Abbey and stole the Dream Shard. You must awaken Abbot Durak. He'll know how to get the Dream Shard back. Talk to our healer, Frizzweir. He's inside, tending to the Abbot. We can't create more dreamless potions without the Dream Shard. Without those potions, we, and the King, are vulnerable to the supernal dreamers. The Dream Shard is a priceless relic, a literal piece of Azura's realm of moon shadow. With it, we can distill water from the Cave of Dreams into dreamless potions. Without that shard, we can't make any more of them. We use them to protect ourselves from nightmare attacks by our enemies, the supernal dreamers. Since we don't dream, we're not vulnerable to dream magic. We also send them to the king and his counselors. Another reason we're tolerated here. Exactly. So you see how important it is to recover the dream shard. The safety of the realm is at stake. Yes. I shall go do that. Very nice. Do I have any other quests? Or actually, I've done nothing wrong. Say, I heard you recently arrived from Alcare. There are terrible rumors about Duchess Lacana. Are they true? Was she murdered? I am sorry to hear about the Duchess. She was a good woman. The omen of fear, you say? I recollect hearing something about such Daedra before. You should ask Abbot Durak. He would know. Too bad he's like... Not even here. You're the one who helped save our fields. Listen, I may have discovered the source of Durak's affliction. Really? It won't be easy. The spell enthralling the Abbot traps him in sleep and forces him to dream. It's a clever spell, since the spirit wardens can't enter his dream. In fact, we can't dream at all. We drink dreamless potions nightly. That's why we're immune to dream attacks from our enemies, the supernal dreamers. As of now, you're the only person in Pariah Abbey who can dream. The only one who can save Durak. We have another potion we rarely use. A dream stride potion. It'll put you into a dreaming sleep. Then I can merge your mind with Abbot Durox. You must find him in his dream, figure out what holds him there, and awaken him. Fuck. Whatever. Okay. Couldn't move for a second. Our allies have betrayed us. The Midnight Union are now enemies. And I failed to see it coming. I can't, my child. These chains bind me to my nightmare. However, it's still my dream. So I know one of the Midnight Union men outside carries the key to my chains. Slay them until you find it. Don't hesitate or fear. They're only dream spirits. In this dream state, only you and I are real, and I'm only really certain of myself. Okay. Going in.
So we gotta kill these things, I would assume, and get the... Uh, oh! Thought I blocked it. Damn, that thing is bad. Focus one of them at a time if possible. That would be good. Oh. Nice. What time is it? Hold on. Um, 3.20. Okay. Did you find the key? Good. Once I've removed these chains, we'll awaken. Speak with me again in the waking world. What the fuck? That was weird. Without you, I'd still be trapped in that dream. Now we must work together to stop this threat to Stormhaven. You saw my dream. Clearly, Vermina's cult, the Supernal Dreamers, is behind this betrayal by the Midnight Union. The outlaws of the Union took the Dream Shard, but I fear it's for Vermina's evil purposes. We must recover it. I don't look forward to informing the King about this, but we must let him know as soon as possible. He will not be pleased. King Emmerich must be informed that without the Dream Shard, we won't be able to supply him the dreamless potions that protect him from the Supernal Dreamers. His Majesty might reward the one who brings him word of this. Would you do it? Seek out the King in Wayrest and give you him the You just said he's gonna be mad, he though. He must know as soon as possible. Then you need to find I do. Hey, it's that useless mage again. Cool. Talk to High King Emmerich. Alright. I heard the Great Shackle was destroyed. I hope that means the plane melt has been stopped. This place actually isn't that far. I don't know if they were talking about that. It's like, oh, I can return. And, uh, oh god, Garge is still there. I thought after we cleared the area it would be okay. Apparently not. Yeah. Gonna go uncover this or discover. Yeah. Then we're gonna get to the Oh what the fuck? I want that attack. That looks cool. Oh no. Oh no! This is very bad. I know they're behind me. I don't want to look back, though. Oh, yep. Gotta keep going. Can't start that quest yet. And just two of them. Okay, now it's good. We're under attack. Word came in the Dreg were attacking the district of Dregside. Sergeant Stegin let us out of Wayrest to investigate. We found Dreg attacking citizens, and citizens fighting back. Madness. Okay. Next person. They took him. They took everything. They took my husband. He was only trying to defend our homes, but the Dreg took him. The Dreg. They attacked to it. their spawning. May the eight bless you. The Dreg, Sergeant. Their hatching pools are nearby. Okay. Damn Dreg are everywhere, and these citizens have lost their minds. They're attacking Dreg barehanded. I've saved as many as I can, but that last Dreg wounded me. Help. You're telling me it was a slaughter on both sides. 
The sergeant said there were dreg eggs among the houses. And the dreg must have come after them. I don't know. The slums are on Lord Sorek's land, but he refuses to send more soldiers. He acts like he's enjoying the slaughter. We must stop this before all the peasants get themselves killed. You can help by taking eggs from the slums back to the pools.